Prashant Elke. I am a Parkinson's disease and movement disorder specialist working at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Do you know what is Parkinson's disease? Do you know what is a movement disorders? Or do you know who are the movement disorder specialists? To know or create awareness about these disorders, we are creating a World Movement Disorders Awareness Day. The International Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Society is celebrating November 29th as World Parkin World Movement Disorders Awareness Day. Let's know about it more to create more awareness. Movement disorders are a group of brain diseases or abnormalities of brain where people start having difficulty in performing their day-to-day -day activities because of unable to control those movements in a right way. Anything which causes an abnormally excessive or abnormal reduction in these movements, we call it as movement disorders. Remember, movement disorders occurring due to other issues like fracture of a leg or fracture of a hand is not a movement disorder, but something which is connected into the brain and the cerebellum, what we call it as. Diseases which affect these disorders, we call it as movement disorders. For example, people who have less movements, we call them as having Parkinsonism or Parkinson's disease. Or people who have more movements, we call them as having tremors or ataxias. So there are different types of movement disorders are there. And to name a few are Parkinson's disease. Second is dystonia. Dystonia is something abnormal movement, means the turning of the head to one side. Or people having excessive eye blinking. Or some people have what we call it as hemifacial where one part of the face keeps on twitching like this. This is what we call it as hemifacial spasm. So there are different types of movement disorders are there. In a broader perspective, we can classify them as Parkinsonism disorders, tremor disorders, dystonic disorders, ataxic disorder. Ataxia means uh, like a drunkard type of a walking type of a disorder. Choric disorders where people have abnormal movements of the body while walking around. So there are different types of diseases are there which needs to be known by everyone so that we can increase the awareness about movement disorders on this movement disorder step. Do you know who is a movement disorder specialist? Do you know how common the movement disorders are in India? Movement disorder specialist is a neurologist who is further subspecialized in management of a certain type of diseases which are involved in the body movement. And these are called as movement disorder specialists. So they are specifically neurologists specialized in a certain type of movement disorders. As you can see, about 15-20 years back in the whole of India, we had very few movement disorder specialists. We could have counted them on fingers. Two, three people or four people across India were there. Over the last 15 years to 20 years, the, the field of movement disorders have tremendously increased mainly because that a lot of therapy options are available and this has led to development of more and more movement disorders across India. Currently, since last 2014 onwards, we have Movement Disorder Society of India, which is an exclusive society of movement disorder specialists and almost we can say that every major cities across India have a movement disorder specialist. Why it is important to know about this thing is that of late, the number of patients with movement disorders being seen at, seen at the specialized clinics or by a movement disorder specialist are slowly increasing. And we are expecting over the next decade to 15 years, these numbers are tremendously going to increase. Why? One, because that the aging populations are increasing as most of the movement disorders are aging related disorders. Second, the COVID outbreak what it had. The COVID outbreak had used a lot of people's acute immune response. Means Increasing the immune and the stress phenomena would have led to a burnout phenomena. This burnout phenomena may lead to various aging related disorders to be seen earlier in many people. For example, people who have developed some issues in late 70s and 80s, probably they may develop in 60s itself. So this time can sell. But in a general aspect, what we can see is that the amount of movement disorders across India are tremendously increasing. It's very important to recognize these disorders because some of them have very good treatments with proper and early interventions. There are various research options are also going on across India to look for 
therapies and answer the question why we are developing those things. We hope that on this moment disorders day, many people will come to know about these disorders and recognition develop across the general populations and in the medical fraternity from various specialities.